What's going on, everybody? My name is Brandon Chastain, a.k.a. B. McFly, and you are now tuned in. Part one, the rehabilitation of an absent father. You know, my mother had me at 14. My father had me at 16. Automatically, I'm supposed to lose. Statistically, I'm supposed to lose because, you know, my parents were poor, immature, and more importantly, they were addicted to crack cocaine. So I am not supposed to be here right now. I am not supposed to make it to the next level. From the age of being a toddler up to about sixth grade, my parents were in and out of my life. I seen my mother more than I seen my father, but they were both in and out of my life. I mean, a 14 and a 16 year old kid are doing a lot of things in the neighborhood Besides being addicted to drugs, right? They're fighting, they're arguing. You know, um, I've seen a lot of domestic violence amongst my parents. Um, a lot of arguing. Um, a, not, a lot of neglect. Uh, and this is not to talk down on my parents. Because I honor my parents. But the rehabilitation of an absent father, through my observation and my experience, I have to start from the beginning. Um, the, my comprehension level was to the roof. I seen more than actually was being taught anything. Um, through my toddler years up into sixth grade, I don't think my parents taught me anything. My mother was more so like tough love, rough. Although my father was tough, but he was more the of the affectionate one. Um, you know, it was just like, a lot of us feel like our children at one, two, three years old, they don't know what we're talking about, right? But I beg to differ. A lot of children, you could give a child that's two years old a phone, they didn't know how to unlock the phone, go straight to YouTube and, and pick their favorite video and watch it. And if they stop liking that video, they know how to go to another video or they know how to go to the games. So they may not, they probably can't explain that to you, but the comprehension skills, they can show you. And I felt like even if you thought that I couldn't understand I still felt like my parents should have taught me something. But I understand through the drug addiction, their immaturity, it was impossible. Um, I was raised, I was the only child for seven years. So my mother's mother, which is my grandmother, she raised me. She raised me in a household with her husband and her two children, which is my mother's two sisters, Trina and Nikki. Trina was five years older than us, and she had to help raise us as well. So she was, she was like forced to rate help fast, like you know. Um, and I get it; it was rough for her. Um, me and Nikki, we, you know, that's my other aunt. I got her by a month, and we were, like I said, we were all raised like brothers and sisters, but me and Nikki were very close. Um, and Trina had to raise me and Nikki, you know, help raise us along with my grandmother raising us. Now, my grandmother and my grandfather, that was the only man that I knew that stayed in the household. That was the man that never left. Was it always peaches and cream? No. Was it always, oh, everything's going well? No. I watched my grandfather and my grandmother party. I watched them argue. You know, um, uh, it, you know, it was a lot of mental abuse towards me. It, you know, it was a lot of physical abuse towards me. Um, I it was nice that I was lonely. I was scared. I was crying. You know, I wanted to run away. Uh, you know, my grandmother... And I'm not talking down on them either. I'm just telling you, my grandmother gave me love. I know she loved me. I know she loved me dearly. But I felt like my grandmother more so gave me the tools on how to survive more than, than how to love more. And even though I see my grandmother and my grandfather 
while I was being raised in one, I was under them 90% of the time. So while I was being raised under one household, yes, I did see them. They never separated, even up till now. So I watched two, um, I watched the man and the woman stay together, but it wasn't instilled in me the, the importance of, of a man and a woman staying together, especially having children. Was I spoiled? No. Did my grandmother adore me because she didn't have a son? Of course. But my grandmother taught me independence. Um, uh, my grandfather, like I said, he was, you know, a lot of physical abuse, a lot of mental abuse. But he also taught me a lot of things as well, you know, in, 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 in between that span of, of um, toddler years and, you know, junior high years, sixth grade, going into my sixth grade year. Yeah, he taught me a lot, you know, how to work with my hands, you know, um, how to conduct myself from time to time. Uh, but I was never taught how to love. It, it, it naturally came about, like, you know, I guess as a human being, as you get older, it's like you're not supposed to be mean to one another or, you know, but like I said, I was mainly raised off of survival and not love. And in a process, you know, it was a lot of trauma in my life. Uh, you know, starting with my parents not being around, going in and out my life, physical abuse, mental abuse, um, being raised with my aunts and coming to find out that they're not my sisters, they are my aunts. Um, I was a softy, man, you know? I, you know, I, I was confused, man. Um, through it all, I mean, it, it, will I say that it was terrible? No. Um, it was times that I smiled. It was times that I was, I was, it was funny. It was fun. We had fun. I mean, you know, it wasn't terrible, Right. But lonely nights of, of not being around your parents, you know, you, you may get some type of love from somebody else, but as you get older, you recognize that the love that you want mainly is from your, your mother and your father. Um, and like I said before, you know, I had times with my parents when they were around. It wasn't always I get high every day. I mean, my father, it was times when my father did certain things that people didn't believe that he would do. And he did it. Um, like I said, my father was affectionate. Yo, he used to do things like, you know, we used to wrestle and do karate. And do all that crazy stuff. And... And like even my mother, she would give me a hug and all that and tell me she loved me. But for the most part, I seen a lot of crazy stuff, man. And it's, it, you know, what a child can comprehend, I mean, it's dangerous. It's super dangerous. Um, and it's no manual on how to raise a child, right? We are all different. Uh, we only go off of, you know, religion, experiences, so on and so forth. Um, what you were taught and you pass it down from generation to generation. Uh, but what I've been through between my toddler years and my sixth grade year can haunt me for a lifetime from what I've seen, what I've heard, and my experience and what I've been through. A generational curse and um stay tuned for part two because it gets deeper um rehabilitation
of an absent father. Stay tuned.